What's up guys, welcome to Rumbus day number five. We have five miles today. I'm at work currently and I am on my last job, I think, unless another one gets added to me. The day, I mean, it's already 3 p.m. So it's already been a long day. Hopefully I get off of work. Harrison had to work today, a 12 hour shift, so there's nothing she could vlog for you guys. So I'm gonna just get this job done, get home, and we will begin our Rumbus day five mileage. So it's been a long day. We worked a lot. Harrison worked a 12 hour shift. I got off like an hour before her and the hour before she got off, you know, I could have went and got this five miles out of the way, but I didn't. I rested. Maybe I fell asleep. I don't know what happened, but I woke up and Harrison was extremely hungry because she didn't eat all day. You know how girls are. They don't drink water. They don't eat. And I didn't eat a lot today either. So we went to a pizza place, I almost said pizza, pizza factory. We went to a pizza place that we go to pretty much every week and we enjoyed that. You know, I'm really prepared for this five mile run today, but I just keep telling myself, it's just five miles. That's the hole <clears throat> I've dug myself into today because it's just five miles. So we're gonna go home, do the Harry Potter advent calendar, and then I'm gonna go run past nine o'clock. So I'm not, I'm not really good at What's it called? Time management. Mm -hmm. Not good at it, but it's gonna get done anyway. So that's why I continue to be bad at it because it gets done anyway, so. All right, Harry Potter, Advent Calendar, day five. Do you need help? Let's see what it is. Drum roll. Oh! No, I broke it. I know, I broke it. <laughs> what is wow. That? Is everything paper? What are these? What? Are these stickers? No. no. What? Is this a sticker? No. Hey, waste one. Is it a sticky note? All right, so we don't know what these are. I know this advent calendar may not be for everyone, and there's not a lot of cool stuff in here, but, you know, it's Harry Potter the women theme. love it. Yes. Okay, so we are starting Rumus. Day five's mileage at 9.30 p.m., which is super late, but it's my own fault. I could have got this done at six o'clock whenever I got home from work, but today was a hard day. So I decided to kick back and kind of fell asleep. And then you saw we went out to eat as a family. And I think this brings up a great topic of like time management, being obsessed, communicating with your significant other because I'm obsessed with making rumbus happen. Not only running every day, but daily vlogging. And it's going to get to a point where sleeping, working, running, editing videos is going to take up 99 to 100% of my day. And I think it's really important to communicate with your significant other before you do something. Not that you're gonna do run mess, but maybe you're training for a marathon or an ultra marathon or a triathlon. And it's gonna take up a huge part of your days and your weeks and your months. And it's really important to communicate with your significant other beforehand or in the early stages of prepping for something like that. And Harrison, I'm thankful for Harrison. She is an ultra runner herself. So she knows the time and dedication it takes to do hard things. And I know she's a number one fan and she supports me in everything I do. So telling her about this rumbus idea wasn't i wasn't expecting i didn't get any pushback and again we know it's going to take up a huge if not all of my days later on during the last days of rumus so i'm really trying to be present and give my family as much time as i can in these early days and harrison knows that and we both know 
that run must only last until Christmas day. So we know this isn't going to be an ongoing thing that goes on for months and months and months. We know we're gonna push hard and get this done in just three and a half weeks and then things can go back to normal. But I think it's really important to communicate with your partner beforehand. Obviously communication is just huge in any aspect of your relationship. But had me thinking a lot about that today, starting my run at 9.30 p.m. But we're gonna get this run done. I will see you after it. All right, so we just finished Rummus day five's mileage, five miles. I'll put that on the screen for you guys. Now it is 10 p.m. and I have to get a shower and edit this video. But today's Christmas gift idea for a runner in your life, or maybe even yourself, it's going to be a headlamp. It's getting darker sooner nowadays. At like 4.30, 5 o'clock it's dark. So a headlamp would be a nice gift to a runner or yourself. This is a Phoenix headlamp. I'll put the exact one it is on the screen for you guys. Harrison has a better Phoenix headlamp. I will also put it on the screen for you guys that lasts a really long time. So it's really great for ultra running. She did pay a pretty penny for them though. And <clears throat> make sure you read the manual on them because Harrison was using like the brightest setting <laughs> it had called spotlight mode and her headlamp which is supposed to last like how many hours like 48 or more or like 48 or more hours and it was lasting like a couple hours because she had it on the brightest setting and she didn't know it she's like what what is wrong with this headlamp it's not lasting long at all and then she would just have to always switch to this one but yeah that's going to be today's christmas gift for a runner in your life that is also going to wrap up round miss day number five and Harrison is not prepared, nor does she want to be in this video. Good night. <laughs> Good night. Well, we will see you guys tomorrow for Run Miss Day number six. Yeah.